So what I'm going to do is I am going to do a product photography shot, billboard style of this cream soda, Dr. Pepper, something, I don't know. But um, I'm using the Canon 5DS, you can use any camera, so long that it's got a hot shoe adapter on the top to add a trigger and a flash. I'm just using a cheapo, newer, newer from Amazon. Just dead simple flash. A tripod, I'm using a, it's a trigger, so I'm not moving the camera in between takes because I'm going to be doing composite. And then, so what I am using is a softbox on a, this is all Amazon basic sort of stuff. A Neva Speed, like the NW561, I'm just using a softbox just to add a little bit of gradient to what I'm using. And so what I'll start doing is from a 45 degree angle towards the back, see how that looks. I'll throw these up on the screen as we're doing them. And then from this side, See how that looks? It's kind of a nice greeting actually. The top. That's a little bit nicer. And what I'll do is I'll just get one just bare bulb right from right high up so that I can just brighten up those letters. There we go. So I've bought the images into Photoshop, stack them all up, they all line up. Now it's just a case of set the blend mode to lighten on all of these just so we know roughly where we're sitting and what we're working with. The backgrounds, none of that, none of that matters because we're going to cut out the can and make our own background for it. So zoom right the way in. I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch me run around with a pen tool. Right, so now I've got all those, so what I'll do is I'll make selection out of that. I will command J just so that's that layer mask is done. I'm gonna merge all these. What I do is create new layer. I just select the entire entire thing. Right click, fill, colour. What I do actually, that's a little bit too dark for me. Actually, what I might do is a gradient. So I'll go from black down to this middle color here. So now the gradient's looking a little bit nicer. It's from the that's the top. Yeah, that's found. Downloaded this soft splash. Mute that for now. Make a box just just behind it so it looks like it's sitting in there command J to make that a new layer or option click in between those so now that is only sat inside that little square now command T I might actually bring that can down just a touch what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer this can I'm going to copy command J copy that get that second one and just Bring it all the way down but then what I'm gonna do is put that in between there probably soft light and then on the back of this make a selection back there again add a blur Gaussian blur whack it all the way up so that looks like it disappears off into the distance and then for this can find one that looks nice basically and then I'm gonna so I'm gonna give, give it a Gaussian blur only a small one not massive only needs like a couple of cent just to rub the edges off and then command D to remove those and then I'm just gonna I might bring that splash down just a touch so we've got a little bit more to play with what I'm actually going to do is on this, just get rid of that. Just content to wear it out. It's super easy, there's no point going into all these fancy different tricks or ways of doing it. Content aware works, and it works. You do get a few other artifacts every now and then. Content aware them out. Smashing, done. 
And now all these do the same to the can. So if we zoom out, it now looks like I might just try brightness option. Just adjust to that. Just a few little adjustments. All that's left, and then you'll end up with something like this.